An Horry County mother says she was concerned for her kids' safety. This after her nine-year-old daughter told her nursing students were doing medical screenings without a heads up to parents. And we're learning there's change coming though for Horry County parents after this mom reached out to our crisis in the classroom team. ABC 15, Simon Williams is working for you. He's in the studio tonight to examine the promise from the school district and the mother's process to get to this point. Yeah, that process involved phone calls, emails, and even a presentation to the school board, but it ended with this letter from the head of student services within Horry County School District. Uh, she learned she wasn't the only parent concerned and that the district didn't notify parents because uh, or before rather these health screenings. When my nine year old third grader came home all excited saying that these nursing students are coming to school and they're going to look at our ears and our eyes and our throat. Jason Wolfrey says the shock she felt hearing that prompted her to call her child's teacher thinking she missed an announcement. She just said as long as she's ever known, they don't notify parents. Come to find out, it's a screening recommendation from the state's health agency for vision, hearing, dental, BMI, and blood pressure. And there's no requirement to notify parents ahead of time. Parental consent is a huge concern in our household as my husband is a 25-year veteran a paramedic. He's nationally registered. We just wanted to be informed. While she's sure some families benefit, this is how she explained her concern to her nine-year-old. I said, well, when we go to the doctor and they do your eye checks or they do your hearing and um, those other screening processes. I said, where is mommy or daddy? And she said, right there. I said, absolutely. We're right there with you so that we can make sure that it's being done properly. We can make sure that you're safe. After calling the principal, district leaders and DHEC, she signed up to talk in front of the school board. I did want to make sure that I was calm and just stated the facts. And that led to this letter from the head of student services saying they understand. So moving forward, they'll notify parents at the beginning of the school year, include the information on their website and give a form for parents to opt out. Are you satisfied in that? We're very hopeful for the changes. If parents who already provide those services for all their children um, could go ahead and opt out. So that way there was more time to focus on the children and on any other matter. She hopes her experience encourages parents to use their voice. Her Drexel was last seen walking out of the Blue Water Resort. That's here along Ocean Boulevard. We spoke with that FBI spokesperson today. He tells us that he didn't want to go into details, but he says they are still picking up the pieces. This grainy video, April 25th, 2009, the last time we saw Brittany Drexel. Friends and family gathered today by her memorial at the Market Common. At this point, I just want to find Brittany. I know they want a conviction on this case, but I just want to find my daughter. There needs to be justice for Brittany and the family. The FBI tells us they're still working to find that justice. All the investigators who have worked this case from day one, who are working it now and who will work it tomorrow, they're very much invested in this case. They take this case home with them. Explaining some of the challenges. Physical evidence may decay. Electronic evidence uh, may be deleted. Uh, people's memories fade. And you know people actually die uh, holding information that would be fruitful for us and help us in our investigation. Spokesman Donald Wood wouldn't get into specifics. Well, he says since the 2016 press conference in McClellanville, tips have been streaming in. That's stirred up some things for us, stirred up some evidence that we're still acting upon um, and created other leads for us. Nobody's been charged in connection to her disappearance. The FBI says she's no longer alive. Her mother Dawn looking for closure. I'm tired. You know, I, I, I want something. I'm getting very impatient at this point. We just need the public's cooperation. I mean, we're certain that there are people out there who have information that could help us. If you have any information, you are asked to call the FBI. Drexel's phone actually last pinged in that Georgetown County, Charleston County line. And Wood says that the big focus for the FBI now is that McClellanville area that all started with that press conference again. After a deadly deputy involved crash, three women from one family died late Sunday night along Highway 17 in Charleston County. Officials say their car was hit by a deputy's vehicle at the intersection of New Road. Members of the group stand as one, want to know how fast the deputy was driving, if her lights and sirens were on, and they're also asking for dash camera video to be released. Three women, three black women, one who had graduated from Claflin College the day before, three women who had celebrated Mother's Day that day died right there on the scene. 
The group is also calling for Deputy Pelletier to be arrested and face charges for the death of the three women. Sheriff Kristen Graziano held a press conference yesterday about the crash and says Highway Patrol has the video and is trying to work with the manufacturer to recover footage. The sheriff didn't know how fast either of the drivers were going and said the exact circumstances of the crash are for Highway Patrol to figure out. Sheriff Graziano says the crash is a tragedy and the sheriff's office is doing everything it can to support the family. A candlelight vigil and balloon release will be held tomorrow night to honor the family. The community is invited to Colleton County High School's stadium that's in Walterboro. The event begins at 730 p.m. That comes after a visitation for the family. It's scheduled from 3 to 6 at Coger's Mortuary Service. That's 508 South Jeffries Boulevard in Walterboro. The information right there on your screen.